Now, let's say we have our carboxylic acid and we have a ring attached to it. Well, how do we name those? Well, traditionally, when it comes to naming rings for simple alkanes, we looked at the number of carbons in the ring and we said, well, if there's more rings in the carbon, more carbons in the ring than there is in the alkyl chain, the ring takes priority. If there's less carbons in the ring than there is in the alkyl chain, the alkyl chain takes priority. However, with carboxylic acids, they trump any type of alkyl group. So regardless of whether or not we've got a six-member ring here or a three-member ring here, we are going to name these as if the rings are branches off of the parent chain. So here I've got three carbons, one, two, three. So we've got the propane, OIC for the acid, acid, one, two, three, propanoic acid. And once again, our carboxylic acids here are going to take the priority. The way we would name the branches is the name we would name any type of branch. In this case, it would be the cyclohexyl, or specific three, cyclohexyl, four, three, cyclopropyl. So with any type of rings attached to our carboxylic acid compounds, we're going to treat them as alkyl substituents. So we're going to name them cyclo, whatever it is, YL, and give the number corresponding to where it is in the branch of the chain, with again, the alkane chain here taking the priority and holding on to carboxylic acid. So that's how we name, cyclo, that's how we name carboxylic acids if we have a ring attached to the alkane chain containing the carboxylic acid.